And I'm here today to march for real reproductive rights and free, safe uh, abortion on demand and without apologies because I'm more than a uterus, I'm more than a walking incubator, I deserve human rights. I'm here because I feel that women deserve to be treated like human beings. I feel like that if this was a man's issue, we wouldn't be having this conversation. We're out today because we think it's really important to keep this issue on the table. Young women are coming out in force and saying that this is an issue that's important to them. And this is my daughter Alva and I'm out here on the second annual March for Choice because I believe in choice for all women and I have a little girl for whom choice is going to be very important in latter years and I don't want this Ireland to be the one that she's living in. Women living in Ireland must be the fittest in Europe at this stage with all the marching we're having to do. Now it was very important for me to be here today. For me, being pro-choice is about compassion and respect. Respect for the reproductive rights of women and their right to make decisions about their own bodies. We're all here because we believe women have a right to decide. The government shouldn't be deciding for us. Um, we don't think there should be any more shame in women who are forced to make difficult decisions. James Ireland is, an is the Association for Improvements in Maternity Services and we feel that all women deserve a choice in every aspect of maternity care, whether it's when they're having a baby or when they find themselves pregnant unexpectedly. And we do not feel that women should have to travel to England to get safe abortion. People ask why we set up this organisation, the Abortion Support Network, and I say that's a stupid question. The question is why in 2013, in the European Union, in the Western world, do we have to do this work? Do we have to be here on the streets of Dublin asking the doll, asking the people of Ireland to let women have access to safe legal abortion where they live instead of exporting? It's about a baby who is non-viable and will not be able to live. And it's happening to couples, to families, every single week now all over Ireland. They are receiving the horrible diagnosis and they are forced to travel over to the UK. There's couples bringing their babies back in coffins in the boot of their car to be able to give them a proper burial. It's, it's horrific and if they should have been allowed to do that here in Ireland in their own country. We need to show our politicians and Irish people that we want much wider access to abortion. We want a woman's right to choose. We want no woman. We want no woman to be forced to go through a pregnancy that she doesn't want. Catholics use contraception. Catholics have abortions. Catholics work in abortion clinics. Catholics believe in choice and believe in women's autonomy. We've had enough of the A, B, C and X cases. Unless we repeal the Eighth Amendment to the Constitution, there will no longer be justice for women in this country. Our bodies are ourselves, we won't let you have the run. Repeal the Eighth Amendment, cause now the time has come. Shout, sisters shout, everybody! Shout, sisters shout, yeah.